Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video today I am going to be doing a spring clean. I'm going to be undertaking a full deep clean of my kitchen. This is part of my spring cleaning series. I really needed the motivation to just blitz the house and do everything that I needed to do that I've been putting off for the longest time. So the kitchen is one of those things. Me and Chris moved into this house just over two years ago now before Theo was born and even though the house gets cleaned and the kitchen specifically gets cleaned every single week we mop the floors, we uh, clean the cooker, we clean all the worktops and all of that kind of thing. We have not done a proper deep clean since we moved into the house and I am so ashamed to say that but that is the truth and I'm only trying to be honest. So today I am going to clear everything out of the cupboards, give everything a really good scrub, get rid of any expired food or anything that can, needs to be eaten right now, I can bring that to the front. Hopefully this video will act as a motivation for you as well and you can even clean along with me, we'll do it together. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it because there's a lot of stuff that I need to get done. So this is me starting off in my food cupboard. This cupboard was an absolute disaster as you'll see. There was all kinds of stuff in there, some stuff that was out of date, other bits that had been opened for a while, there was crumbs. It was getting me down and I wanted to sort it out so much. So this is me going through the bottom half of that cupboard. I see marvels, I see titans and some troubles that everybody has to face. It's so good to empty everything out and then just give it a really good thorough clean before putting everything back in again. This was such a challenge. There was so much food in there. And one thing that was really getting on my nerves was the fact that there was no order to it. So I had to go rooting through everything just to find one type of thing. My main aim for this cupboard was to organize it into some sort of order. How bad is that bottom shelf? My god. That's my cat just coming into the shop there. I'd cleaned all of the food out of the cupboard I went ahead and got some nice soapy water and give it such a good clean really scrubbed away at every single shelf and I'm on a step ladder by the way because I'm only five foot two so I really would have struggled to get up to that top shelf. I always find that once I start cleaning something, I always end up cleaning something else as well. So the top of the fridge really needed a good scrub as well. Yeah. Throughout this whole thing, I was listening to one of my podcasts. This particular podcast was S-Town. I'd heard so much about it and I just wanted to try it out for myself. And it was good. I don't think it quite lived up to all of the hype, but that's another story. So that's what I was listening to. I always find that listening to a podcast just helps to make the time pass a little bit quicker. It keeps my attention focused on what I'm doing. Sometimes I 
find that if I'm just listening to music, I'll totally get distracted by something else. So by listening to a podcast, I get lost in it and it really helps me for if I'm doing a big long clean like this. middle shelf I've put all of the tins and the dry goods I think. The bottom shelf I've put pasta and other miscellaneous items and then on the top shelf I'm putting all kinds of sauces, condiments, mayonnaise, salsa, you name it it's up there. Honey, maple syrup, salad dressing, everything like that has gone onto that top shelf. There we go, it's so much more ordered. I know there's still quite a lot of food in there, but it is just an improvement on what was there before. Here I'm giving all of the cupboard doors a really good scrub. That was my tea and coffee and all of that good stuff. That was the cupboard of dreams right there. Because I've got white gloss in my kitchen, it's insane how dirty it gets. I love white gloss so much. But one of my bugbears is that every single stain just shows up on it so much. This is the dreaded cupboard under the sink that needed some serious organisation. It doesn't look too bad, but there was things just shoved into every nook and cranny, so I wanted to give it a little bit more order. And again, I'm just emptying it all out and putting it back in in some kind of logical system. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to when we build the extension on the house is to have a utility room where we can house all of these kind of cleaning products, all of the bleach and the window cleaner and the sprays. I just find that it's so annoying that it's right at Theo's level this way under the sink. So. That is one thing that I'm really looking forward to and to have all of this stuff up and out of the way in a wall unit. another small cupboard it's a bit of a mishmash of different things and I just wanted to give it a good clean out and again put them away in a logical order one thing that I did keep in this cupboard was a cheese grater and I thought mm, that's probably not a good idea now that Theo is opening the cupboards I just dread to think if he got hold of a cheese grater he'd have no fingers left probably so that came out of this cupboard Now 
I'm just doing a big clean of all of the work surfaces. As you can see, I like to keep my work surfaces pretty clear. We've only got a TV on there, a bread bin, toaster, kettle, and my Nespresso machine. So I just try to keep everything clear. I can't stand clutter on kitchen worktops. Behind the microwave always gets so grotty. I quite like to have a microwave integrated into the kitchen, which is something else that I'll consider when we extend the kitchen. This is my dining area and my pride of place, New York skyline there. I feel so much better when I've got a nice clean sink. I love the way that it's all nice and shiny once it's done. It just doesn't stay like that for very long, that's the only problem. And again, just clearing the kitchen work surfaces so that I can give it a really good clean. Because the cooker gets cleaned every single week anyway, it really wasn't too bad. It was pretty clean inside, so I'm just going over it to get rid of any fingerprints and any marks from any of the food that we've literally just cooked this morning. And that's it, it's all nice and sparkly. Such a nice feeling when it's all done. It. that's the end of my kitchen spring clean I am so tired after that cleaning really does take it out of you I feel so much better now I'm really happy because I got to all of the areas that needed the most attention the bits that were really quite grotty have been done and they're all sparkly clean I hope that this video has given you the motivation for your spring clean no matter how big or small if you've liked this video then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.